All right. We're uh, we're on chapter 28, content marketing. And I'm going to scroll up here really quick. Just so that everybody that's reading the book along with it, we're in section five. All right. And this is Rory's Applied Marketing 101 class begins here. So this is Applied Marketing 101 class begins here. All right. And I'm going to I'm going to spell this out. And, and or just you know go through all this right here. Um, it's chapter twenty-eight. Content marketing. This is something I am extremely proud of, and something that was undervalued by my competitors and major businesses for decades. Content marketing. This is something that only a marketer with the understanding of ascension marketing, the patient process, and a true forward vision understands. It is far from instant gratification and is something you can never truly have enough of. We live in an era where the customer does not always have the most trust in a new business or what any business says about itself. We have been made accustomed to being lied to by far too many dishonest people in businesses. This is apparent in the ways in which we make our buying decisions. This allows for content from third parties to matter even more. And this is where content is the most powerful. It is more important today what our customers and those that experience our products and services say about us than what we do. Opinions, comments, and reviews are almost priceless. A bad review can cost you countless losses, and sadly, they are almost impossible to measure. A great review can bring in customers and help the Ascension marketing process to happen faster. Publicizing and sharing your views, your reviews, especially the good ones, is a vital part of the content marketing processes. And taking the negative ones and fixing your business in a way to limit the issues. Responding to them and rectifying is always important and part of proper customer support. And if one person has a bad experience and wrote about it, you can figure they were not alone. The silent customers with a bad experience can be more devastating as you will not likely have a way to repair the spread of the damages, let alone know they existed. The only way to build and counter the negativity is with more and more positive positivity and owning it. If there were problems, fix them and move forward with a new approach. Every representative of your business and process matter. This is why the new way of business will lean towards shared partnerships with all that build and are part of the business success. Having the least paid person be the main interaction with the actual customer is not always wise. Did I say not always? Let me rephrase that. It is never wise to have the least paid person have the main interaction with the customer and their experience within your business. I've been doing content marketing even before the internet was any form of effective communication direct mail, newspapers, and printed materials to support the products or services I was representing. It did not change, just be became easier to do as the internet became the way of life for us all. If anything, it has become so much easier, and yet most do not understand its incredible and long-term importance. And as more and more realize how important it is and truly how easy it can be, they will be flocking to it with ease. Remember, if it were easy, everyone would be doing it. And I'm going to go over, you know, some stuff we're on. Chapter 29 is going to be fun. I'm going to go over just a couple more things to stay here really quick. Content marketing is something, again, I've been doing it literally since 1989. Okay. And when I started doing content marketing on the internet, I was told by a lot of people that, oh, that's not going to work because it wasn't Instagram. It wasn't Instagram gratification. You're writing articles, doing PR pieces blogging, creating content to back up research, the product value, all sorts of things. And the more time went on, the more that became valuable. Yeah, it might have taken a long time. So, you know, when you when you're focused on your, you know, your blogging aspects and your PR pieces, know that it's not going to be instant gratification, but it's going to be setting a precedence and people can look back at it for a long time and see that there's documentation and the amount of documentation will outweigh the negative issues when they can see that this company has been around for a long time and how you handle things. Remember, everything's documented. You might as well help the documentation process and have a voice in what it says. Content marketing is key.